my name is Anne Makasinski and I'm a student inventor. I'm a creative person. It's like my first toy was a box of transistors, so it was a little bit of a different childhood. My parents believe that when you had less, it would encourage you or even almost force you to be more creative with what you had. I got started tinkering and inventing things out of necessity. It was just a way to entertain myself and from there my love of just taking things apart just for fun, just to see what was inside it kind of grew. I was talking with my friend in the Philippines around when I was in grade 9 or 10 and she told me that she had recently failed her grade in school because she didn't have any electricity. So she didn't have any light to study with at night. And that really surprised me because she was just around my age, just in a different place around the world, but she didn't have something as simple as light. And I had already been doing projects related to energy harvesting, so I invented the hollow flashlight, which is a flashlight that runs off the heat of the human hand. It uses Peltier tiles, otherwise known as thermoelectric generators. So by heating one side of the tile with the palm of my hand and cooling the other side with a hollow aluminum tube, light is produced. What I would see my flashlight being applied to in the future is so reading lights in developing countries and in emergency kits because emergency kits will sit for years and the batteries inside those flashlights will corrode and die. I honestly can't tell you how many prototypes I have of the flashlight and I think that's part of the creative process as well is just going through and just keep on going if something doesn't work just move on to the next design, next solution that you can think of. Being different has enabled me to have a different approach on life and to come up with very creative solutions and step outside of my comfort zone. Not in the way of being scared all the time, but really observing what other people's problems are and seeing if there's a way that I can help. I'm really excited for how far the flashlight's gotten. Can't wait to see it put into production and given to people in developing countries who don't have any light or placed in emergency kits. I'm Anne Makasinski and I make better today.